What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are down here today. Today is Thursday. We are down here talking about Beverly Hills Housewives. I watched it this morning. I tried to watch it. Look at the dogs in the um in the school yard. What are they doing over there? How did they get over there, first of all, in the school yard? Okay, y'all, so go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know you stopped by. And um, we can get talking about um, Beverly Hills. It was good. It was a good episode. You know, I haven't reviewed the last few episodes, but we all we all watch the same thing, so we, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I have my notes. Hopefully, I didn't forget them. Oh, you used to give it to me. Give it to me. I like to park right here. I don't know why I want to park right here. This man just parked right here next to me. Yes, you remember the de the way you used to love me, honey. Okay, so let's talk. Y'all ready? I have the air. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I want to roll my window down, but I don't want this man all in my business. So people be looking. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody's doing well. It's nice today. You can smell the fires. The It's, you know, it's some wildfire fires. You know, California has a fire season, right? So... It's fire season, state of emergency season. People be, this is a mess. So 2020 has really been like revelations and just, like really literally revelations. If you've ever read <laughs> the book of revelations, fire storms, fire tornadoes, fire seasons, pandemics, viruses, airborne viruses, honey, people telling everybody's business coming out. It's a mess. It is really a mess. 2020, like I said, the end of 2020 for me with just the icing on the cake would be Ghislaine Maxwell coming out and be like, look, this is what it is. And just really crumble politics and entertainment as we know it. Because that's who is who was affiliated in this ring of people. Um, I hope that she does not take this by herself you were involved with these men you need to bring all of these men down you know how powerful you are right now Ghislaine 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 Maxwell you're so powerful right now girl that would be the icing on the cake at the end of the year for her to be like boom <laughs> all right y'all so let's talk about real housewives of beverly hills so it's around christmas time so this was this was filmed eight months ago eight to ten months ago almost a year ago they done filmed all this foolishness and so now it's coming out so garcelle and De garcelle or denise goes over garcelle's house they didn't just came they came back from rome i get we didn't have no reviews of them in rome i think just one review of them in rome and um, we saw all the stuff that happened in Rome. So, Garcelle, or Denise tells Garcelle that she was really a great friend. She comes to Denise um, Garcelle's house. Garcelle's house looks nice. She has a big old tree in there and everything. And she told her, you were really being, you were really a real friend to me. And um, they showed some clips where Garcelle was asking, why are you guys choosing to believe Brandy when you have the relationship with Denise? Why are you choosing to believe her? And, um, you know, we get later, Dorit's like, I don't believe, I don't believe you. Like, I don't believe what you're saying, but we'll get to that. Um, so she said she went to Montana somewhere. She went some country, some, some square shaped state. And, um, she has said she had to decompress from all of the foolishness from Rome. And Garcelle asked her, you know, what does Aaron think about this? What is, you know, what, how does he feel? Well, you know, he can't believe it. And, um, you know, I don't have any secrets with my husband. And um, I, uh, maybe you don't have any secrets with him, but I'm not sure as to why. I'm not sure as to why. Let me fix this. Is this better? Is that better? Okay, child, I don't know. Okay. I, she says she don't have no secrets with her husband. So why would you tell Brandy? Oh, that's supposed to be a lie. Okay, let me get to this, honey. Um, 
but Aaron would she um Garcelle was like, Do you think Aaron would say something? And yes, Aaron will say something if he sees him. We've seen that. We've seen a demonstration of that already. Um and then and then Denise finally admits I don't like Teddy. So I mean I I that's what I'm i I've come to the conclusion that I don't like Teddy. Um Lisa Renna, something hard. Oh, um, Garcelle said, y'all hear the geese? Garcelle said that she, her and Lisa Renna have been friends for a long time, but she feels like there's something hard about her. Um, I don't know what it is. There's something hard. And, um, that lady looks familiar. That white lady looks familiar. Where do I know that lady from? She looks familiar. Maybe at the grocery store or something? I don't know. Anyway, so she said there's something hard about Lisa Renna. There's something very gr aggressive about what she's doing. Like somebody has to own it all the time. And then they showed clips of her like saying, well, you got to let us know. You got to tell us. You got to let us know. And I don't know that Lisa Renna is hard. I don't know, but I I don't know what that is about her. You got to own it. You got to own it. I just want everybody to come out and just tell the truth. Um, that's what Lisa Renna's thing is. Um, um, and so Denise goes, you know, I've been through a lot. I'm able, I can handle these bitches, basically. And that's true. So that's why everybody is, that's why everybody doesn't understand why, you being, why you're lying. If you were able to handle somebody with the personality of Charlie Sheen and everything that comes with him... Why are you acting like this with these women? I mean, what's the difference? If you can handle Charlie Sheen, and why are you lying? I, I you know, like what I said from the beginning, I don't believe, I don't believe Denise. I believe that Denise, I believe Brandy. I believe Brandy. Um, let's see what happened. There's people walking. They're getting their walk on. It's early in the morning. Dorit and Kyle are setting up a baby shower for Teddy and a secret baby shower. And they went to the Capri room and it is really pretty. Of course, uh, Kyle says, does it, does it remind me of Capri? No. So she's a, just a, she's just a hater. She's just going to be that friend, that hater friend that always has something to say. They go back and forth with their little things to each other. Um, you know, their they're little back and forth bickering that Denise, that um, Kyle and Dorit do. Um, because Kyle is, I believe that Kyle is just pressed. I really didn't like what Dorit had on. This is the first time I didn't like what Dorit had on. Um, she said that was something that she bought in Rome. It wasn't cute to me. Um, <clears throat> so they are putting all the, um, the name plates down. And she says, I'm going to put you next to Teddy. Cause you know, if I don't put you next to Teddy, you're going to, you're going to be upset, you know? So they're a little back and forth, you know, a little back and forth bantering they do. And then, um, Denise would not show up. She's like, I don't think Denise is going to show up. Um, but Brandy is showing up. You invited her along with Kim, um, or they were invited. So she was like, I don't think Denise would not show up and we're adults and this is for, and this is for Teddy. And you know, if Brandy's going to be here. She'll be fine, but no, she's not going to be fine. So Lisa and Ren Lisa Renna and her daughter are sitting down talking and they just got her a one bedroom, 900 square feet apartment for 5,000 almost six thousand dollars a month fifty seven hundred dollars a month for a one bedroom 900 square foot apartment so she's gone to her psychiatrist she says that her you know her mood has been balanced um she's on um, these antidepressants and she feels much better um and then Lisa brings up what Garcelle brought up in Rome was, you know, you dancing half naked on Instagram. Do you believe that it, there's some that you contribute to your daughter's uh, body image issues? And as a mother of sons, understanding like, okay, you're on the internet dancing. What do you think your daughter feels about this? I mean, and if you had sons, what do you think your sons would think about you dancing half naked? And that's, I think it is a valid question, especially if the girl has an eating disorder. And we know that Lisa Renna is very, 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 very thin. You know, eat some bread, maybe you will feel better. <laughs> Bitch. Um, but you know what it is? I you know the daughter said basically tell her in a nice way to fuck off however comma she did say 
I used to look at you and be upset at how thin you were, but then I realized you're just a thin person and I can't be mad at you for being naturally thin. Um, so that's what it is. Um, but her mom, her, she said her mom is not to blame for her eating disorders, but she did used to look at her and she says, well, maybe I just pushed Garcelle's button, Bar Garcelle's button was pushed by that. So we're going to see how that's going to turn out. So they get to Teddy's baby shower and uh lisa and kim they they finally greet each other after remember that bunny they talked about that bunny how lisa gave lisa gave kim richards a bunny for her her grandchild and when the reunion came around kim brought the brought the bunny back and gave it back to her everybody was so shocked because you know when somebody gives you a gift you're not supposed to i mean it's it's socially unacceptable to give somebody a gift back it's really saying like oh my god girl like what the f right so that was a real funny moment because lisa i mean kim does not she doesn't play so and that's another person that they don't really she says like i, I say she's the kenya because she says what she wants to say they say things to kim and then kim says what she wants to say and then everybody's like oh my god gas you know what i'm saying clutch the pearls um Denise calls. Oh, Dorit says everybody is coming. Um, and Dorit, uh, Denise calls and says she can't make it because she's sick. Garcelle, Garcelle and both Garcelle and Kyle were like, that girl's not sick. She's just not coming. And just like Teddy said, girl, listen, this is the problem that we have. You are not honest. Just say, hey, you know, after Rome, I don't feel like it's the best thing for me to show up to this woman's baby shower. And that's just what it is. Just say that. Why do you make up a lie? And what are you... See, this is... I, I Like I said, I just have that theory. Like, what are you fearing? What's the fear that you might come in contact with? with brandy or you might have to answer some questions somebody may have some more questions that's fair um you could you could say i don't want to come to the baby shower because i don't feel like talking i don't want the conversation to turn on me so i'm just gonna not come and just be honest like i just don't understand why she why what she's afraid of that's what i'm trying to figure out um she doesn't like teddy so why would you come anyway like it only it doesn't even make sense um and then even Garcelle's like, is she sick or she's really, she, I don't really believe she's sick. I believe she's sick of these ladies. I, that's what I believe. So Erica shows up with her pink wig. She was like, <laughs> I'm wearing the baby's gender. That shit was so funny to me. <laughs> Cause she come through with a pink wig. Erica always comes with a theme, honey. It's the theme. We having a baby shower. You having a girl. So I'm gonna wear a pink wig, girl. I, I'm here for it. I'm here. Look at all the little baby crows. They just came. All right, Kyle gives a toast to Teddy. Tell her she's she loves you. I love you, and you're amazing. And oh my God, you're just such a great mother. You're the badge of the year, motherhood. Here's to motherhood. <laughs> so Kyle, um, Lisa, Rena brings up Erica going to be in Chicago playing Roxy Hart. And she says, um, you know, it's something that I did 18 years ago. And then you can see the, the ladies like, oh, God, girl, here we go again, right? So then, of course, Garcelle was like, girl, every time I know that you're a very supportive person, I know that you're a supportive friend, I think it's very important. But, girl, every time you mention Erica being in Chicago, you always mention that you were that girl 18 years ago what is that about and then what was crazy was how lisa came back at garcelle and she was like i feel sad for you that you feel that way and garcelle was like girl you didn't have to put it like that like girl that don't even make sense even though garcelle that was a backhanded compliment you started off with a compliment and then you took a dig at lisa and and it was so like instead of in a joking way it was more of a way i've observed this behavior and this is what you're doing instead of like girl shut up every time you every every time you mention erica in chicago you gotta mention you why be quiet let this girl have her shine by herself like put it like that but garcelle is you know that's how that's her personality and er and lisa was like i feel sad for you that you feel that way girl now now you have this to go on and now you have 
what she said about your daughter dancing and just the other day i just saw lisa renna dancing down on instagram so it hasn't stopped <laughs> it hasn't stopped she was in my explore page i was like look at lisa renna dancing on my on this thing girl but it was a backhanded compliment uh garcelle she was like well that's why i said you're a great friend yeah because you were like i want to say something nice before i say something mean we know what it is denise um Denise didn't show up, so they moved everybody down. Teddy's friends were there. Um, it was weird how Garcelle and Sutton got up and left so quickly. It didn't. I couldn't tell the time frame and how, how long they had been there, but they got up and they left. And then Kim says, "Well, you, you know, you in, you invited Brandy. She's in town. I mean, she's in town. She's in the neighborhood. She's just so happened to be in the neighborhood. But I think Kim came and was like, Denise is not here, so you can come. Basically, that's what I feel like. Um, and I feel like Brandy didn't show up with Kim because she thought that Denise was gonna be there. And when she got the word that Denise is not not gonna be there, now you in the neighborhood. Can she stop by? You did invite her, right? So she was like, sure." So they sit down. Brandy comes in. She gets her a glass of wine, baby. They looking. So then they start talking, right? And the, Teddy's friends that are not on the show are still there. Used to baby shower, right? They didn't play no games or anything. I don't know what was. Are we we don't we didn't see any of that. We don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. It was just seemed like they were just eating and talking and whatever. So Brandy shows up, and Dorita's talking to her and ask her, you know, do you feel like? you like to be controversial like what's up like what is that about and and do you feel like you're an honest person and she was like yeah i'm an honest person like 99 percent of the time and that was honest to say that you know like yeah i'm 99 percent of the time honesty is important for me and um she was like you know so they start talking about what happened well in rome you know it blew up in rome honey the shit hit the fan in rome girl and she was like well what you know what's going on and so the friends, all of Teddy's friends were still here. And so the, the what's her name? Brandy was like, I feel uncomfortable because people are not getting eye contact with me. And I don't know 95% of the people at this table. Like, girl, I don't know your friends, so I don't really feel comfortable talking around your friends. And so she was like, it's kind of weird. So she basically said, Denise said that you were lying. And she was looking like, girl, what? And like putting her hand in her head and all this other stuff. And so Teddy's friends, they ended up leaving like, girl, we about to talk about some other tea. So this is not going to be fun for y'all. So y'all got to go. So they leave. Denise said that you're lying. So Brandy tells, starts telling this story about how she went, went to visit Denise Denise said that Aaron was there. Brandy said he wasn't. Um, it was just the girls. And Teddy explains it. Like we said, Teddy explains it. You, you had an, Brandy had a idea or uh, had an understanding that Aaron and Denise had an open relationship and that Denise can fuck around with women and not men. And that is the only reason why she fooled around with her until the next day. She said she left some love bites on the girl. Um, girl, what was y'all doing? Like, is it that serious? I guess, whatever. Um, I, whatever, honey. Y'all was doing wild things, a scene from wild things, girl. I know Denise probably hates that. She said, I don't think, did she say that she regretted doing that role? I know she said she went against her parents and her father has never seen it. Somebody has, or he got out of the, he walked out of the theater when that scene came on. Anyway, so Brandy tells the story and she says, I'm not a cheater. And she, I'm, when you told me that when Denise told her the next day, act like this love bite is something is a mark from my corset. Aaron can't know about this. She was upset because she was like, great. Now I have to keep a secret. Now I'm a cheater. Now I'm, cheating i'm letting this woman cheat on her husband basically and based on her history with eddie sibrian or whatever um she doesn't want to be put in that position and if you understand i understand where she's coming from girl i don't, I go hard on cheaters and now you put me in the position and i don't want to be in that position and that's not cool so Doree says this is confusing this story is confusing confusing this is confusing and basically she says she was like so when did she say this about us when did she say this about erica and about teddy she was like she didn't say all these things she said that she was a cold-hearted bitch and she said that teddy was living in the shadow of her father and it's not that interesting or something like that 
And then she's like, I just, Doris said, I believe Denise. And Erica was like, girl, I love saying, say that I'm a cold bitch. I love it. I love every minute of it. So Brandy pulls out her phone. Brandy pulls out her phone. She shares the text message with the girls. Honey, Erica said, Erica's like me. Erica, I said, come on, bitch. She's like, I'm not even looking at what they're saying. I want to see how long they've been talking. That's it, bitch. <laughs> I'm going, let me look at the dates. <laughs> that's uh, that's the same. I don't even need to see what y'all saying because I don't even believe what she's saying already. I just need to see when all this shit started. And baby, it's going back a year. And then I love you, babe, and saying I love you. And to Lisa Renner's point, bitch, I've known Denise Richards over 20 years. I don't be texting her saying I love you and all this other stuff. I don't even have that relationship with her. But you said you don't have a relationship with Brandy. And here you are saying I love you, babe, and pretty and calling each other pretty and stuff. I was like, oh, Denise, that, oh, you ain't never coming around again. You ain't never coming around, child. Hey, pretty mama. And so Dorit was like, I don't believe her. So then, you know, Brandy and her shock you know shock jock way was like girl i didn't slept i didn't sucked on her clit that's what she basically that's what she said she's <laughs> they could everybody was like oh it's so funny how that's the that's what i mean i don't want to say that's what everybody does but that's what got everybody here and talking about sex is just so like oh my god not at the dinner table you know what i mean but if you're bringing it up girl i'm gonna be i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna get real graphic to let you know that and I do the same thing. Like, uh, let me be real graphic with you so you can understand that I'm not playing around with you, right? Like, I remember, I don't remember where I was. I think it was like one of my first jobs. And <clears throat> I, I had my period and I wanted to leave. So, you know, it's, it was very uncomfortable to tell a man who is a manager that you're on your period so you need to leave and sometimes since men don't understand it they don't understand like where what could happen to a woman at work where she's on her period and she doesn't have the things that she needs she doesn't have her feminine shit that she needs to get her shit together so you leave work so he didn't really want me to leave and so i got graphic i was like listen i'm bleeding out of my vagina so i need to leave and then he's like oh okay 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 <laughs> Okay, you can leave. You can leave. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you just got to get graphic on the motherfucker. So Brandy said, bitch, I had my face in between her legs and I sucked on her clit. Now, 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 do you believe me, bitch? I'm not lying about this. I don't have any reason to fucking lie. I'm not lying. And she like yells at Dorit. And she believes that, um, yeah, they had an intimate friendship. And Brandy was like, I believe she's more manipulative than Lisa Vanderpump. And Rena was like, oh, we're all involved now. We all have this tea. Denise is not here. We all know this information. Somebody's going to have to go back and tell Denise. It's going to be you, Rena, to say, hey, girl, listen, we was at the baby shower. Brandy came, and this is what she said. That's how you do that, because you last time you, you dropped the ball, and you didn't tell her that they, she was going to be confronted in Rome. So this time, you know, get it together, Lisa. So this is what I think. Do I think that Denise is more manipulative than Lisa Vanderpump? For me, I don't think Lisa Vanderpump was manipulative. I think the women are just stupid. That's just my opinion about that. Denise, let me tell you something. Denise has shared with us how strict her parent, her Catholic parents were or are, were, whatever. And I've always said that strict parents overprotective strict parents they raise the best little liars they raise the best little liars on top of being an actress and on top of being doe-eyed you understand what i'm saying L denise is down there they they showed a clip of them in rome when lisa renner was crying talking about i wasn't a good friend of you and and denise was looking at her like bitch i really don't give a fuck about you Denise is lying. Denise is lying. I believe she's lying. I've always believed that she was lying. I believe her actions don't match her words. I believe she gives off mixed signals because she's a liar and it doesn't match. And it's it's crazy because she's such she's an actress in addition to a little liar. So it's like 
when your actions don't match, you can't get your shit together. That's why you run away because you're not a great liar. You're not a great liar. And you get up and you walk away because you don't want to be confronted. And that's fine. You don't want to be confronted. That's fine. But you're in a group with these women that you're filming with. These are your cast members. You're going to have to be around them eventually. You can't keep jumping up and running away because... You say that you're not mad, but you don't want to talk about it. So if you're not mad, you don't want to talk about it. How do we get to a resolve? How do we resolve any of the shit that you that you're in here lying about? How do we come to a conclusion? Right? Like what's you know, you can't get up and walk away every time. That shit is annoying as fuck. But again, I believe that Denise is a liar. Um Lisa Renna goes over Kyle's house and says, you know, we were lied to, basically. Um, we were lied to. Um, she was telling me I hadn't, you know, I was upset. I had a full-on breakdown in Rome because I felt like I hadn't been a good friend. But I felt like she was, she was sitting there lying to me and manipulating me. And she was. Like, she really was. She made you feel bad for not having her back. But she's lying at the same time. Like, that shit is trash to me. You're lying and I'm supposed you're you're getting on me for not being a good friend, but you sitting in my face lying. So are you a good friend? Why are you sitting up here making me feel bad for not protecting you and you're sitting here lying in my face? That's not a good friend, Denise. I feel like a big fat fool. I feel like she weaponized our friendship. Honey, next week they have a party. I don't know what Doree was like. I didn't invite her. Didn't know. She was like, did you invite her? Kyle was like, don't look at me. <laughs> that shit was so funny to me. Anyways, y'all, what do y'all think? Do y'all think, well, y'all, we're trying, you know, you know, this is a different situation now, right? And just like to Kyle's point girl we don't care that you was fucking brandy we don't care we want to know did you say this about erica and did you say this about teddy and what denise did in rome oh and by the way she said she slept with uh she sleeps with every woman she comes in contact with we don't believe you denise shut the fuck up and everybody sitting at the table doesn't believe you we don't believe anything you're saying right now your actions and words don't match when you're confronted you get up and you walk away and she did weaponize her friendship with Lisa. That's how I feel. Anyways, y'all, take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. You let me know what you think about, you know, do you think that Denise is just as manipulative as LVP? If you believe that LVP is manipulative, I don't. I just believe the girls weren't sh as sharp as her. You know, she's a Virgo. I just don't believe that the girls are sharp as, as, as Lisa Vanderpump. And when they showed that clip, see your way out the door, dear. <laughs> I said, come on, Lisa. Lisa kicked Kyle out. But Kyle did not believe Lisa. And Lisa was offended. Like, bitch, you're my friend. You're supposed to believe me. I still don't know how that went. That was with Dorit and that dog. I still don't know how, what I believe about that. Because to me, I feel like trying to make Dorit feel bad about giving the dog or giving the dog to someone and not telling Lisa that the dog was wasn't friendly and then giving it to somebody else without telling her and then that person not feeling that the dog was friendly giving it to a, a kill shelter um, and then the people calling based on the chip right the people calling Lisa's and, and saying you know that they got the dog I don't know that that was a manipulative what would be I don't I don't understand what would be Lisa's objective what was she trying to show with if if that was this big elaborate thing to make Dorit look like a bad person for giving the dog to somebody else I don't know I thought that was weird y'all tell me what y'all think but anyways I mean this is not about Lisa Vanderpump but do you think that Denise is as manipulative as that? I do th think Denise is manipulative. I do think that she's lying. I do think that she's a good little liar. And I do think it be it comes from her upbringing. I just do. Anyways, y'all, let's take let's uh, let's get down in the comments and we'll have a conversation about it. You guys take care of each other. Protect your energy. Peace. <laughs>